Consider the logarithmic equation shown on the screen. How can we prove if this equation is true or not? In order to prove this logarithmic equation, we need to make either the left side equal to the right side or the right side equal to the left side. Either way, we need to make sure that both sides are exactly the same. So what I'm going to do in this example is I'm going to start working from the left side and I'm going to change it to the right side. If I'm able to do that, then this mathematical statement has been proven true. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the change of base formula. Now just to recap, here's the change of base formula. Log base A of B is equal to log B over log A. Now notice that the new logs on the right side doesn't have a base. So we could introduce a new base. This could be base C. C could be anything. It could be 5, it could be 8, it could be 10, it could be E. Or sometimes you could put nothing there. If you don't put anything, it's assumed to be a 10. So I'm going to rewrite log base square root A of x as log x over log square root A. Now, the square root of A, this is equal to A to the 1 half. A is the same as A to the first power. And if there's no index next to the radical, it's assumed to be a 2. So it's a to the 1 half. So we can rewrite this as log x over log a to the 1 half. Now, log a raised to the x, this is equal to x log a. That's another property of logs. You can move the variable to the front. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take the 1 half exponent and move it to the front. So now I have log x over 1 half log a. Now to get rid of the 1 half in the bottom, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 2. 2 over 2 is 1, so if you multiply anything by 1, you don't change the value of that thing you're multiplying by. So by multiplying this fraction by 2 over 2, we are not changing the value of the fraction. Now 2 times a half is 1. So we're going to get 2 log x over log a. And I'm going to write this as 2 times log x over log a. Now I'm going to use the change of base formula to go back from a division of two logs into a single log. So the one that goes on top goes here. The bottom becomes the base. So this is going to be 2 times log. This is on the bottom. So a is going to be the base, and then x, which is equivalent to the expression on the right side. So that's how we can prove that this particular logarithmic equation is indeed true. Now let's work on another example. Let's say we have log base a raised to the nine to the ninth power of x cubed. And we're going to set that equal to log base a of the cube root of x. Feel free to pause the video and work on this example problem. Go ahead and prove whether or not if this mathematical statement is true. By the way, for those of you who are studying logarithmic equations or just logs in general, and if you have a test coming up, I'm going to post a lot of links in the description section below this video that has to do with logarithms. So for those of you who need help with other topics involving logs, feel free to check out the description section below. So for this problem, I'm going to start from the left side. I'm going to convert it to the right side. 
So just like before, let's use the change of base formula. So this is going to be log x cubed divided by log a to the ninth power. You know, once you do one example, the other examples, they become easier because now you know the pattern that you need to follow. Now, just like before, we're going to move the exponents to the position in front of the logs. So log x cubed becomes 3 log x, and log a to the 9 becomes 9 log a. Now, 3, I'm going to write that as 3 times 1, or better yet, 1 times 3. 9, I'm going to write that as 3 times 3. So I'm going to cross out a 3, and notice that I'm left with 1 third in front. And I'm going to move that in a separate fraction. So this is going to be 1 third times log x over log a. Now, what I want to do, because I have a division of two logs, but it, my final answer only has a single log, I need to use the change of base formula to go back to a single log. So this is going to be 1 third log base a of x. Now, this exponent, I mean this coefficient rather, or constant, I'm going to move it to, to the exponent position. So this becomes log base a of x to the 1 third. Now, x to the 1 third is the cube root of x. So we can write our final answer like this, log base a cube root of x. And as you could see, the two, this equation is a, a true equation. It's correct. It's been proven true. Now let's move on to our last example for this video. Feel free to try this problem. So we have log base square root of a of 1 over square root x and let's see if it equals negative log base a of x. Go ahead and try that. So let's begin by using the change of base formula. We'll take this single log and we'll write it as a division of two logs. So this is equivalent to log 1 over the square root of x divided by log square root a. Now, the square root of x is x to the 1 half. And the square root of a is a to the 1 half. Now, this x, I'm going to move to the top of the fraction. And when I do that, the exponent is going to change from a positive value to a negative value. So instead of being positive 1 half, it's now going to be negative one-half. Next, we can move all of the exponents to the front of their respective logs. So we're going to have a negative one-half times log x over positive one-half times log a. Now, one-half divided by one-half is one, but we do have a negative sign in front of that. So right now we have negative log x over log a. And I'm going to write it like this, negative log x over log a. And then we could use the change of base formula to convert from a division of two logs into a single log. And this will be negative log base a of x. So now you know how to prove logarithmic equations like this using the change of base formula.